My 1993 2.3 liter Mustang autocross car has already lost 250.4 pounds. Slimming this stallion down further requires more mods I've never made before. I've spent years proving that you don't need an aftermarket K-member to build a competitive autocross car. But aftermarket K-members do offer benefits, one of which is weight reduction. The first phase of this project is all about pulling 500 pounds out of Apocalypso, so I'm installing my first lightweight K-member. The UPR K-member has been on the market for years, and it's one of the most polarizing parts I've ever seen. Online forums are full of mixed reviews, but I couldn't find any autocross-specific reviews. I've had this 1979-1995 to Mustang tubular chromoly UPR K-member with spring perches for a while. I plan to use it on my 1992 GT, but that car has been sidelined with mechanical issues. And because Thoroughbred is only 75 pounds over the Cam-T minimum weight, I decided the UPR K-member would be put to better use on Apocalypso. My 2.3 is going to see much more autocross action than my 92 GT. Using the UPR K-member for this project will give me a better opportunity to test how well it performs under autocross conditions. Installing a K-member can seem pretty imposing, but it's actually a straightforward process. However, complications can arise due to loose production tolerances and subtle but important differences between Mustang models. If you plan on doing a K-member install, my advice would be to do as much research as possible. Make sure you have a plan, the right tools on hand, and always take proper safety precautions. Because I need to be able to move this car around, and I haven't finalized my front suspension mods yet, I'm going to show how well the UPR K-member fits with the OEM A-arms, the OEM steering rack, stock style springs, and the OEM sway bar. I ended up having problems with almost every part of the install, which means there's a lot to cover. So I'm going to make two videos that detail the 2.3 liter specific install issues I encountered and some obstacles anyone could come across when putting a UPR K member on their Fox body Mustang. Once everything is on the car, I'll reveal how much weight the UPR K-member and spring perches took off of Apocalypso. In this video, I'll show you what I had to do to get the OEM K-member out, the UPR K-member and spring perches bolted in, and the engine mounted to the UPR K-member. Let's start with what's going on the car. My UPR K-member came with two spring perches, poly steering rack bushings, and steering rack hardware. The UPR instructions were so basic that I ended up using Maximum Motorsports very detailed instructions and notes from watching a bunch of videos and reading the Ford service manual to prepare for the install. In addition to common hand tools, I needed a few specific implements to strip the car down, square the K-member, and bolt it in place. Jack stands that allowed me to level the car, an engine support bar, engine lift brackets, four plumb bobs, a tape measure, an air impact wrench, a drill with a 1 8 inch bit, some large zip ties, a tie rod separator tool, a bell jack and a piece of wood, a floor jack, and a torque wrench. I got the car up on jack stands and made sure it was level from side to side and front to back. I stripped the front suspension components off of the car. Removing the OEM springs can be dangerous. Always follow proper safety procedures when removing springs in the stock location. Springs can pop out and cause serious injuries. If the brake calipers are allowed to hang free, they can damage the brake hoses. Use zip ties or wire hangers to secure the calipers while removing the front suspension. After the suspension was removed, I used bent wire hangers threaded through the strut tower and held in place with a nut to
to keep the brake calipers out of my way during the K-member swap. I zip-tied the steering rack to the sway bar with enough slack to allow me to reposition it. I drilled 1 8 inch alignment holes through the OEM K-member into the frame rails so I could put the OEM K-member back in place if I needed to. I removed the air intake tube, the coil packs, and their bracket. That allowed me to use some engine lift brackets on the header studs. I positioned the engine support bar and attached it with the hooks and a chain. I put the bell jack and piece of wood under the oil pan as a safety measure. It took me five hours to get to the point where I could remove the OEM K-member. Before I went any further, I checked to see if the OEM K-member was square. Using the plumb bobs on the two rear lower control arm to chassis bolts, and on sleeves with a slot machined in them to mark the center of two A-arm bolts, I took right and left side measurements and diagonal measurements. It turns out the OEM K-member was perfectly square. Both the internet and UPR said the UPR K-member should work in a 2.3 liter Mustang. But because many aftermarket parts aren't designed with the 2.3 liter in mind, I did some test fitting before taking the OEM K-member out of the car. And I'm really glad I did, because I uncovered a big problem with the motor mounts. This car is going to be thrown around a lot, so I wanted much stronger motor mounts. I found these beefy polyurethane motor mounts from 2.3 parts, and they are clearly an upgrade over the OEM motor mounts. They come with all the necessary hardware and simple instructions. But when I mocked them up on the UPR K-member, they didn't fit. The smaller holes didn't line up, and the passenger side bracket didn't sit flush against the K-member. The 2.3 parts motor mounts will fit the OEM K-member, but it turns out the UPR K-member wasn't designed to work with the OEM 2.3 liter motor mount brackets. I reached out to Heath and Andrew at 2.3 parts, and so began one of the greatest customer service experiences I've had in 30 years of working on Mustangs. 2.3 Parts actually had a template on hand from a previous customer, and they sent me a mock-up set of custom lower brackets designed to fit the UPR K-member, along with more hardware. As you can see, the custom brackets sit flush with the motor mount plates on the UPR K-member, and they bolt in using the existing UPR K-member slots and holes. The mock-up brackets fit perfectly on the UPR K-member, so I went ahead with the K-member install to make sure everything would fit on the car. I did have to grind about a quarter inch of material off of a frame rail gusset on the passenger side so the UPR K-member would sit flush against the frame rail. I did not cut into the frame rail. This was the only mod I had to make to get the UPR K-member and spring perches bolted to the car. Using plumb bobs, I made sure the right and left side measurements were within 1 16th of an inch of each other, and the diagonal measurements were within 1 8th of an inch of each other. With a little finessing and a lot of patience, I got the UPR K-member perfectly square. It took me two hours to remove the OEM K-member and install and square the UPR K-member. With the UPR K-member squared and the bolts torqued, I installed the motor mounts with the 2.3 parts mock-up lower brackets. The slots allowed me to position the motor with a quarter of an inch of clearance between the oil pan and the UPR K-member. Because you can change the height of the motor, it's a good idea to check for hood clearance. I put some chalk on the high spots of the engine to see if it transferred to the hood insulation. The motor mounts fit like a glove. With the fitment confirmed, 
2.3 parts sent me powder-coated final versions of the UPR-specific motor mount brackets. And, as you can see, they look and fit great. I cannot say enough good things about my experience with 2.3 parts. The quality of the craftsmanship and customer service are amazing. I can't wait to see how these motor mounts perform under autocross conditions. 2.3 Parts is now offering the UPR K-Member 2.3 liter Fox Body Mustang motor mounts for sale. My motor mount install was much more involved because I had to do everything twice, but it should only take about an hour and a half to install the 2.3 Parts motor mounts on your Mustang. So far, my UPR K-Member install has been an interesting experience. The motor mount issue was a surprise, but I knew from my research that I might run into problems putting the suspension and steering rack back onto the car. In part two of this video, I'll cover my frustrating fight to fit the OEM A-arms, the OEM steering rack, and stock style springs. I'll finish off the install and reveal how much weight the UPR K-Member and spring purchase took off of Apocalypso.